वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू योर चैनल टूडेज वीडियो इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सिक्स बेसिक बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड क्रूसियर रूल्स अबाउट सेंट्र फिगर पम्प पाइपिंग द पाइपिंग ऑफ सक्शन साइड एंड पाइपिंग ऑफ डिस्चार्ज साइड दिस रूल्स विल हेल्प यू टू मेक डिसीजन अबाउट सक्शन साइड एंड डिस्चार्ज साइड पाइपिंग ऑफ अ सेंट्र फिगर पम्प this uh, these six rules talk about what to include and what to exclude on the suction and discharge side of the uh, pump to get a better performance from a centrifugal pump uh, but before we start the video i have one small request for all of you if you are new to my channel please subscribe to this channel also like this video and turn on the notifications by hitting the bell icon your support is very important to me it gives motivation to me or me to make a new useful stuff or useful video like this also at the end of this video if you have any doubts please free uh, please uh, feel free to ask okay that's it so let's start the video so first rule uh, the first rule is uh, is uh, try to maintain a straight pipe length before the pump inlet it means try to maintain the straight uh, piping at in suction side if you maintain the pipe length straight it will give you benefits like low pressure drop on the suction side a stable and uniform flow profile and it help to avoid turbulence in the suction side a sufficient straight run help to minimize the turbulence uh, ensuring that the fluid entering the pump is smooth and even if velocity is low turbulence is low and fluid entering the pump is smooth and even and there is low pressure drop which help you to avoid uh the cavities second rule is nothing but suction pipe diameter should be one size larger than the pump suction end so your yeah, suction pipe diameter should be one size larger than the pump discharge uh, you can check the description box you will get the a uh, link uh, which justify this uh, rule so uh, third rule Uh, the third rule is about uh, avoiding high velocity try to avoid high velocity uh, in uh, to uh, sorry try to avoid the high velocity suction uh, side of the pipe uh, this rule is very important because uh, low velocity means low turbulence low pressure drop and it helps you to avoid the cavities fourth rule is nothing but uh, uh, minimize elbow and fitting in suction piping elbow and fittings intro introduce uh, elbow and fittings introduce uh, additional turbulence and pressure losses into the system the goal is to keep the suction piping as straight and simple as possible to ensure a smooth non turbulent flow into the pump this minimize the risk of this minimize the risk of cavitation and improves the efficiency of uh, overall efficiency of the pump fifth rule provide a proper support for piping fifth rule is about to provide the proper support for piping proper support and anchoring of the piping is very important to avoid excessive load on the pump it help to avoid the vibrations wear and damage to the pump and its components it also help to maintain the alignment of the pump reducing the likelihood of uh, like likelihood of, uh, issues during the operation reducing some uh, issues that might will come uh, during the operation uh, the sixth and last one uh, rule is uh, about uh, uh, nrv or uh, check valve include uh, discharge check valve or nrv uh, on the discharge side of the 
the check valve ensure that the pump fluid remains in the system and prevent the backflow safeguard safeguarding the pump and the overhaul system yeah so that's it these are the six basic but very important or crucial rules about the uh, centrifugal pump suction and discharge side piping i hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, it provided uh, some useful or very important information to you about the centrifugal pump suction and discharge uh, piping yeah so see you again please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you